Hey guys, it's Brooke Hoover. So we've been uh, leisurely reviewing the basic bends of the A blues and pentatonic scale. Just taking our time, having fun. So the two bends I've been talking about, first one was the here. Third string, uh, seventh fret, a D bending up to E. And on second string, the G bending up to A. Those are awesome and common. The third one is less, oh, it's gonna be less of a chord tone. It's gonna be first string, uh, eighth fret. Because you end up on a D, on an A chord, so it's kinda like over there. But it sounds cool if you get back to the root. But if you stay on that too long, it kind of creates some uh, dissonance. So that D is going to be like a passing tone. And resolving on the A sounds nice. So that's first string, 8th fret, C. Combine it with the others. pretty much your typical bends. But, wait, there's more. <laughs> that first string C going up to a D, we can do something else. We can make it a, a C sharp, which is a major third of A. So if you want it to be a major third, hear that major third sound, C sharp? So, yeah, your choice. You could. I wonder if you go just a little flat under the major third. So you can kind of have fun with those little tiny bends. Not quite a major third. So basically, it's a minor third just sort of warped a little bit. So really you've got all those degrees of pitch from whole step, half step, quarter step, or any smaller division you want to make. Three quarter step. Kind of sour note, but it can be really cool. Sometimes it's, well, a good friend of mine just says notes, scales, chords, all that. It's just like finger paint. You just blend the color and you might come up with a surprising uh, combination of colors. <laughs> so those would be the three most basic bends for A blues or A minor pentatonic. Of course, you can find the same notes all over the neck, but that may be more than this video can uh, deliver at this moment. So we'll make sure all my buddies who are following the channel know those three. And always hit a chord and it kind of puts it in context of, you know, the tonal center. All right, that was enjoyable. Now I'm going to practice. <laughs> 